Welcome to getting started. Step four, create users. Right now, David, our admin, is the sole user of this data source. So let's create some users. Let's go in administration, user, add users, and create Ted, who is a member of our service desk. Let's enter his login, password, name, and email. The administrator checkbox should only be enabled for the administrator of the database. Now let's click on the permission side menu and you can see here there are add, edit and delete rights. They are like triggers that you have to enable for each user. When giving add rights, you will notice a checkbox appear next to it. The deny add entry and root folder should always be checked since the root folder is our main virtual session folder. We don't want anyone else than the admin to be able to create root level folder since folder that has no permission set on them are deemed public, meaning that anyone that has access to your system will see all the public sessions. So it is a best practice to always enable that option. So let's add the add, edit and delete rights. Now let's do the same thing and create Steve, another member of our service desk, and King, who is a member of our help desk. So remember how in step 3 I created roles for the help desk and the service desk? Well, we will now assign our users to those roles. In administration, roles, assign roles. I'll just assign Ted and Steve to my service desk role and King to my help desk role. So I want the service desk department to have view, add and edit permissions on the downhill pro and telemark folder. But Steve won't be allowed to add or edit any entries. And I want the help desk to only have view permissions on the windjammer folder. Let's edit my downhill pro folder, click on permissions and then in permission select custom. I want the view permissions for the service desk department. So drop down menu, custom, select roles and select service desk. Now I just want Ted to be able to add and edit. So again, custom, select roles or users and instead of choosing a role, select Ted in the user section. I don't want either of them to have delete permission. So I'll just select never for the delete permission. I'll do the same thing for my telemark folder. Granting the view permission to the service desk, then only granting Ted the add and edit permissions. And finally, selecting never for the delete permission. Now for Windjammer, I'll edit my folder, go in permission, custom, add the help desk role to the view permissions. And since I don't want him or anyone else for that matter except for the admin to have any other permission on that folder, I'll just select never for the other permissions. You can now see how useful my permissions column that was added in the previous step is helpful. With a glimpse of the eye, I can see which role has permission on each top level folder. Now it's time to create our entries. I would invite you to see our next tutorial. Getting started, step 5. Create your entries. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website or our forum.